so yeah she does definitely hit me up still and we're just like hey the style that you want is just not Reese's style and I always say third person because sometimes when I answer the email I just want it to make it sound like I'm cool with an assistant I'm like oh and it doesn't make it feel so bad so I'm not telling someone no I'm like oh but Reese can't do that <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs>
about line work and it was like abstract line work. So it's like abstract line work. How can you be picky about abstract line work, right? It makes no sense. And she's like the kind of person that would show, like like I said earlier, like her brother, her mother, her aunt, her and it's just like, you don't need to do that, man. Like it the tattoo's for you, it's not for them. Like you don't need to like get approval every time. It's not like it, it, it's ridiculous to me. Like people that do that, it drives me nuts. I had one client who, and this is how some of them get you. You know, when you have a client, they're like, oh, we'll do whatever you want and you'll pay and whatever. And then they do the thing, whatever you want. And then you're like, cool, this is a really good client. Then they trick you the next time. Cause then they're like, hey Reese, I want to get tattooed by you. So I, <laughs> I want to get tattooed by you. So. Um, you know, let's do some other piece. And I'm like, hell yeah, you're awesome. You sat well, you wanted to do what I like doing, whatever. And then they switch it on you. They're like, well, no, I don't want this. I want my dog and my hockey team and my mom's name with her favorite flower and my daughter's footprint all in one right here. I just don't want to go any bigger. And I'm like, wait, who are you? Where did you put my client? Because this was not the person I met a while ago, but they're like, hey, but you've already tattooed me. Doesn't that mean that you're gonna tattoo whatever I want now? And I'm like, no. He wanted the Virgin Mary with like some floral on it, but didn't want the floral to look too feminine. And I originally made the design and had a daisy under it and it just flowed and looked really nice. But then he insisted on a dahlia. And the dahlia, I made the dahlia like design sort of like not look as good on purpose. So he wouldn't choose it when I gave him the two options, you know what I mean? And usually they gravitate towards the better one. And uh, he chose the bad one. And no matter what, I couldn't like get him to get the good one. But it just looks like a beard in my opinion. Maybe this one lady, she's super nice, but when it comes to tattoos, you have to be on point. She um, wanted an octopus holding like different um, plants in color, octopus in uh, black and gray. And then when I started doing color, she freaked out. She hated the color on her skin. I'm like, Wow, it's too late. It's on you already. <laughs> so yeah, she just broke down and then we had to bring her back on a different day. And then I got offended and I just told the shop to text her to not come back. And then we worked it out and she just, one day she just texted back. She's like, oh, actually I want to still continue with the piece with color, so <laughs> change your heart. <laughs> How much of it did you do before she was like, no? Half of her arm. <laughs> I had a client that, it's like every session that they came in, they were doing a full sleeve, every session they came in, they would change what I did previously because they would spend time on the internet and find other cool geometric patterns and come to me and be like, hey, I really like this like mandala that we did. Could we do this one over it? And, you know, it's like a cover up of a tattoo I did a month ago. Um, and I just told him, you know, if we do this every time, because I think this was the third time they had done that. I said, if we do this every time, it's going to take you about four times longer to finish your sleeve and it'll just be black at the end. <laughs> so let's just skip it, you know? I mean, there's nothing wrong with being picky because I'm myself very, very, very picky. I like to be a little more forgiving about it. Like, I feel like if it's permanent, you know, like part of me is wanting to make sure that it's what they need from that experience, not just like the tattoo itself, but like the commitment to actually focus on them and give a shit about what they're bringing to me. So I feel like I've had a lot of pretty picky clients, but I actually like that, so. I feel like, you know, I feel like they're all gonna come for me now. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>um, I have this a um, dream that one day if we ever did like the purge thing or, you know, where you could just like hurt someone mm -hmm. for fun, I would never, cause I'm a very nice person, but just thought I would always want like a, like a knife to come out of my boot and strong enough to slice someone's Achilles.
Just, I know it's just up. It's really f***ed up, but like that's why I do that because my best friend knows that about me since I was like in my 20s and she's always like, you always do this. And I was like, yeah, because I'm imagining just whoosh, whoosh, and then walking away and they're just like, ah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. really so f***ed up. So f***ed up, I know. You're like, I don't want to be in this room with this girl anymore. Oh, no, I'm <laughs>